It's our annual Music Icons auction with some incredible treasures. Well, one that I'm especially excited about is, of course, the George Harrison's it's his Hofner Club 40 guitar. Most of the actual instruments that the Beatles used, they still own, but there was a couple instruments that were still out, you know, out there that people might have. And one of them was George Harrison's very first electric guitar, the Hofner Club 40. Very rarely do we get our hands on a George Harrison guitar. So I think the fans, the collectors, museums, people all over the world will be vying to own this guitar. The Beatles, in their infancy, they were a skiffle band called the Quarrymen and they were transitioning to being, you know, an electric band. But George actually had an acoustic jazz guitar, also a Hofner, but it didn't have a pickup on it. He was playing with his Hofner President guitar, which he found was rather large and clumsy. They used to have stick pickups onto him, but they didn't really sound too good. So there was another band in England at the time, in Liverpool, their hometown, called the Swingin' Blue Jeans. Ray Ennis was playing with the Swingin' Blue Jeans band. And the guy in the Swingin' Blue Jeans had a Hofner Club 40, so they actually literally did a swap. And George now became the owner of this Hofner Club 40 guitar, which was one of George's favorite guitars. It was the third guitar he had ever owned. And it ended up being George's very first electric guitar. Which is a really great find because we've actually never known where this guitar was for many, many years. Years later, he went on and was reminiscing about the guitar and talked about how much he loved it because it was just like his very first electric. So this is a fantastic guitar so much history. So, as we all know, the Beatles got hugely famous. Fast forward to 1965. They're, they're on top of the world, the, the biggest band in the whole world. The Beatles were preparing for their 1966 tour of Germany. One of the places they used to play in their earlier days when they used to play in Hamburg was the Star Club. And the Star Club was doing a contest for the uh, biggest band of Germany. It was uh, to find the best beat band in Germany. They had contacted Brian Epstein, the Beatles manager, and asked, could we get a Beatles guitar that's autographed by all four Beatles? And, and he said, sure. And so Brian Epstein approached George Harrison at the Hammersmith Odeon at the Christmas show in 1965, and he persuaded George to donate this guitar for the competition. Sure enough, George gave up his very first electric guitar, the Hofner Club 40. There's uh, a promotion that happens, a band wins the guitar, it's a band called The Faces, and the lead singer guitarist of the band, Frank Dorsal, he actually won the guitar. And he had the guitar ever since. When I did the original Beatles Gear book and came out early 2000s, uh, Frank actually contacted me and said, hi, I still have this guitar. There's uh, some autographs on it and so, he, you know, he said, do you, do you know if they're the real, real autographs? And Those signatures presumably were signed by Neil Aspinall, who was the Beatles tour manager at that time. He actually did the signatures on it, which at that time, the Beatles were so busy, it was tough to get them to all assign something. It was one of his favorite guitars and really missed it when he gave it up for, for, for the competition. But it was given away to promote their tour in 1966. It's kind of an interesting thing that George was willing to give up his very first guitar to help promote his band, which was kind of cool. We think it's circa 1957, Hofner Club 40, and it's John Lennon himself owned a Hofner Club 40 as well. But George's was a little bit different than John's in, in the sense that the logo, the Hofner logo, was horizontal on the neck of the guitar, and then you had three dots as well on the on the neck of the guitar. So now the guitar is going to be available at Julian's auction for uh, a very cool guitar that's very historically important. George Harrison's very first electric guitar. And also it's something that anybody can pick up and play. So it's something that you can actually pick up and play and then think, wow, George Harrison played this guitar with the Beatles in the early 1960s. Think of how important that guitar is and if that guitar could tell stories. And so it's just a fantastic guitar with very solid provenance and I think it's going to be one for the record books. It's been on loan to museums from time to time, but generally we've not seen this guitar since 1966. So that's a long time for a guitar to be out of sight. And so there's going to be renewed interest in it and people will be clamoring to bid at Julian's auctions on May 18th or 19th or at Julian's Live where people can see and hear the auctioneer, click those buttons and bid against people bidding in the room and hopefully take home this treasure.